Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a shop my stash video. I've been wanting to do one of these videos for a long time and I just have not gotten one up. So what I'm going to do with you today is I'm going to take you to my makeup area. We're going to go through and I'm going to pick either some really old stuff that I haven't used in a while, some new stuff that's kind of like I want to try and I haven't, and then maybe like some of my old favorite situations. But before we get into the video, if you are new here, hi, I'm Jamie B. Make sure you do hit that subscribe button before you leave and the bell notification I upload three new videos every single week and you don't want to miss out on those and without further ado we are going to go shop my stash all right so first things first I know it's a little bit dark but bear with me I'm gonna try to do older makeup stuff I haven't touched in a while or newer stuff that I haven't used like at all so blush I think I'm gonna go in with the makeup by Mario blush because I've never used it highlighter ooh. I think I'm gonna go in with this one this is the dose of colors and I love Sarahi collection this was definitely one of my favorites when it first came out and it's super old so I want to get that one and then what bronzer do I want to use super old bronzer ooh. Is this one. I'm going with the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in Sunkissed. And I'm sorry if it's a little shaky because like my hands get shaky and there's nothing I can do about it. So we have blush, bronzer, highlighter. I think I'm going to be doing like a spooky look. So I think I'm going to go in with a black lipstick. I'm going to use Kylie's black lipstick and the ColourPop black lip liner just because it's the first one I grabbed. Okay. I've never done a shop my stash moment, so this is kind of exciting. I know this looks different from when I did my collection review because I'm running out of space. So now I've kind of just shoved everything in here and in the drawer below to try to figure out what I'm gonna do with it. Let's see, what palette do I think I'm gonna go in? The Tati palette. Trying not to stand in front of the light because I don't want you guys to not be able to see. But I think this is going to be the one I go into for sure. I haven't used this in forever. It's older. So this is going to be the one I go into for my palette. And what's setting spray? I think I'm going to go into this one, which is the Max Fix Plus because I haven't used it in forever and it's super old. So then powder, which one haven't I used? I use these all the time. I use this one pretty often. I don't really care for that one. I think I'm going to go with Laura Mercier. I think that's the one I'm going to do. Okay. And then we're going to also go in for foundation. Should I use MAC? I think I'm gonna use MAC. I have not done MAC foundation in forever, so I'm gonna go in with the Studio Fix MAC. Hopefully this is dark enough because I have gotten slight tan since the last time. Okay, so then we're gonna go into concealer. It's getting a little dark over here because I'm standing in front of the lights. And I use those all the time. I think I'm gonna go in with my Armani concealer. I haven't used this one in forever, so we're gonna go in with that. And then what primer haven't I used? I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Jelly Pop primer. I haven't used it in forever, and it's one of my favorite. Okay, and as, oh, see, I have just so many palettes back there. Some of these palettes I have not even opened or used, so bear with me. Um, So in here, Mascara. White mascara. Ooh. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara because I haven't used that in forever. And I'll probably just go into the same brow stuff that I use because I use my brow stuff pretty frequently. Maybe I'll try this again. I'll try this again because I usually use the Got To Be Glued Brow Gel. Call me clear brow gel. I'm gonna go into the Morphe clear brow gel instead of ABH because I use ABH all the time. All right, so now that we have all of our makeup picked out, we're gonna go and get ready to do the makeup look with the stash we have picked out. All right, so we are back in my makeup area. This is like my newer makeup area because I like that the background is white and not glass. I love my wardrobe. And I love it as my background, but like sometimes I feel like it's distracting. I don't know, maybe it's just me. 
Maybe it's just me, I don't know. So I'm going in with the ABH Brow Freeze. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm not the biggest fan of this product because I don't feel like it holds my brows the way that the Got To Be Glued does. Like it will hold it at first and then it just, they start to just drop within like an hour. Like see how, like it holds it. You're like, oh my God, Jamie, you said it doesn't hold it. It does hold it for like an hour and then they will start to drop. However, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna let it dry because what I've learned with the got to be glued is that it has to be dry before you can start going in and messing with it. I guess while we're waiting, I'll just start to like prime my face and stuff. So I am going in with my Jaclyn Hill primer under eye primer. And as always, anything I use on my face will be down in the description box. But this one is not an old one. It is a newer one, but it's also my favorite. So it's also like the only under eye primer I have. So if you guys know of any other companies who have come out with this and it's as good please let me know down below because this stuff is expensive I think this is like $24 so see it's already coming down like they just start to come down on their own it does not stay something crazy happened this week and you're probably like Jamie what the fuck happened to your um Instagram well friends I erased or archived cool little feature now called archiving I archived all of my old photos so I'm gonna go in with the ABH dip brow now that I have that laid and it's a little bit dry so they have this feature now where you archive your photos so I don't have to delete them which is awesome but I also don't want like all the old ones on there I just wanted to kind of start new but I did not want to delete my whole Instagram and I think I have like three photos on there right now so bear with me as I'm building that brand back up all right so now I'm gonna go in with my morphe brow gel which I've never used this is a newer product just to kind of make sure everything is set and it's clean wow it's actually really sticking up those hairs though so I've got my primer and stuff so now I'm gonna go in with my foundation which is the max studio fix plus okay so I'm gonna go in with that fix plus and I'm gonna use a flat foundation brush just to kind of lace that all over my face yeah I think this is gonna be too light oh no all right so we're gonna have to bronze this moment up because it's definitely too light so I'm gonna go into another foundation brush and start to really bring that down my neck to try to blend it to look like one color and on to the ears. So now we're gonna go in with concealer. Concealer is going to be the Giorgio Armani concealer. This is the Longwear Fabric Power Fabric Concealer. My concealer might be a little bit. Nope, my concealer is almost the same shade as my foundation, so that's nice. And I'm using my favorite, favorite, favorite beauty sponges. These are the Lunar Beauty Sponges, and when I tell you, like, I am ordering more of these, I am ordering more of them. They are amazing. Like, beauty blenders have always been my favorite. Every time I try to find, like, a duplicate, I wind up getting, like, shafted, and it winds up being, like, not that good, actually. But these are like fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know why I like Paul's. But these are so good. I do actually like that concealer. It's very expensive. I'm not going to lie to you guys. But I do really like it. So now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm going to just try to set that. Just with the same damp sponge. Did you guys notice something? Because I just noticed something. I did my foundation and stuff before my eyes. I just realized that I never do it this way. I always do my foundation or my complexion after I do my eyeshadow. This used to be my absolute favorite. This is the Urban Decay Beached Bronzer and Sunkissed. Like, she's almost gone. I'm almost to the pan. It was one of my favorite bronzers for the longest time. I think it was like one of my first like really like get into bronzers because I never used to actually be a fan of bronzers and then just one day I tried it and I was just like oh my god I do love this. Very, still very blendable. Just making sure I get into that hairline. Since I did use a very light shade I want to tan or I want to bronze up the hairline too. So it looks more like a sun kiss moment. So I had originally picked out the Makeup by Mario cream, like like the cream blush stick thing. And 
I don't like to put a lot of cream over top of what I've already powdered. So I decided to go in with this guy. This is by Makeup Geek. This is the XOXO blush. This I got from like one of my first boxy charms. She's old, okay? Like she is old. But it used to be one of the blushes that I would use all of the time. It's so pigmented. Oh my god, it's just as good as I remember it. <laughs> it really is. Alright, so then we're going to go to a highlighter before we go into our eyes. And I am going in with that Soulmate by Dose of Colors. And this was the Dose of Colors and I love Sarahi. I used to, I used to cover my whole face in this highlighter because it was my favorite. Still is. I gotta turn that down. I gotta turn that down. Looks so good. All right, now we're gonna go into our eyes. I think I'm gonna do something easy schmeasy. I'm not gonna put primer on my eyes. I was going to, but I already covered it with foundation and concealer and powder. So today I did choose to go into the Tati Beauty Volume One palette. Um, volume Two, Three, etc. Have yet to come, which I am not super happy about because I enjoyed this palette. I don't know why I don't reach for this palette more often, but if there was a palette, like I could sit here and be like, oh my God, I love, this would be the palette. So I think I'm gonna go in with Story and put a little bit of that in my crease and just above. Do you guys not remember the pigment on this palette? If this is your sign. Go get this palette out of your drawer and create something beautiful with her because ah. all right so now that i have that color placed i'm going to go in with a blending brush and i'm going to go in to soothe which is going to be right here and i'm going to diffuse this orange color <laughs> and i'm just lightly going in like very little at a time and just building it and just diffusing the line from that orange. So now that I have that blended out, I'm going to go into Ritual, which is this dark brown, and I'm gonna place that right in that crease. And I'm just gonna go in with a light hand and just start here and make sure I work my way over. Starting very small and light. It really, really created that crease. So the next one I'm gonna go into is gonna be this one right here, which is Memory. And I'm gonna put that all over the lid to start. I'm not doing too much blending, I'm kind of just packing. I probably should have put my black P. Louise on, but I forgot. I have not done a sultry smoky eye in a minute. I'm excited. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix Ritual and Soothe, and I'm gonna go in and start to buff this out. Just in light, circular windshield wipey back and forth motion and just keep it in and above the crease because you don't want to buff out that color on your lid you want that to stay as pigmented as possible so we're just gonna diffuse it a little i'm gonna go back in with that orange color and kind of go over it to blend it even more i'm also gonna go into story and soothe and hit that under eye while i'm over here because i want to bring a little bit of that memory just a little down to the bottom lid, the outer part of it. So it's like this. This part of the process with any smoky, sultry eye takes a lot of blending. Like blending, 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 blending. So I am gonna go in with my waterline before I do my mascara with the KKW liner and just line that, but also kind of bring it down a little because I'm gonna smudge that out. Like that. I do wanna try that new viral look. It's like the under eye wing liner or something like that on TikTok. So look out for that video. I'm gonna go in with that same brush that I did my lids with because it's pointy and has some of that black shadow on it and I'm just gonna lightly buffer it out very lightly not bringing it down too far because then it'll make me look like I have raccoon eyes just enough to buff, like buff that color out then I'm gonna go back in with a smaller blending brush into soothe and story and just bring that down a little bit more so you can see that you just want to be able to see that color so it doesn't just look like you have like boom 
black eyes. I think for inner corner, I'm gonna go in my uh, Aurora, the shimmer one. Holy smokes, that's bright. I'm gonna take clean blending brush and kind of try to diffuse that a little bit. But it's a little bit brighter than what I wanted. And I did decide to go in with the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup. It used to be one of my favorite. And I just don't grab it as much. But it's one of my favorite when I'm not wearing lashes. Because it does really give my lashes like this full thick look. But with a look like this you're not going to see them. I just gotta get the lashes on. So I'm gonna pop my lashes on and then I'll be right back to finish off the lip. But the lashes will take me forever and we've already been here forever. So I'll be right back. I did use the um, Lunar Beauty Lashes in Stella. These were my favorite when I first got them and I just haven't used them for a while. Because what I try to do is like not use the same thing over and over again. So in doing so, like I forget they exist. And I'm just using huh, Max Fix Hush. Don't miss that. So I will be trying the new lip primer that I got from LA Girl. I just figured doing this would be a good time to try it. Because I've had it. Why not use a shout my stash to actually use some of my newer makeup. Also, if you hear my kid yelling, she just likes to do that. So there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm going in with Bull Chic. Bull Chic. It is a black lip liner. And I'm just going to line my lips. And this is by from ColourPop. I don't know if I like that lip primer because I feel like my liner is just like Meh, going wherever it wants to. I'm definitely not a fan of that lip primer. It made my ColourPop liner go everywhere and now I have to fix it with my lip with my lipstick. So I'm going with the Kylie Cosmetics. This is her old brand and it is the Dead of Night. Okay so I have applied my lipstick which honestly I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this whole look, god damn it. All right, <clears throat> so I applied my lipstick. That's all done and ready to go. My hair looks a hot freaking mess, but it is what it is. So this is the final look. Um, I definitely, there's a couple of things that I'm going to be getting rid of. I will be getting rid of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I think that it is old. And I could feel it like it's kind of thick and just gross and you don't want to put old mascara on your eyes. I will be getting rid of the foundation. Maybe not. I don't know. Like it looked really pale when I put it on. But I really was able to bronze it up to look like my skin tone. So I'm thinking I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it. Um, what there was something else. Oh, I'm getting rid of this. I did not like this. So this made my lips so oily almost that the lip liner was literally just going and I had to end up like cleaning up a lot of the lip liner with the lipstick. So getting rid of that. So I hope this inspires you guys to use what you have. Start digging into those old palettes and old makeup items. And really just remembering why you bought them. Not to just like try them once and stick them into a drawer somewhere. This palette, she is always going to be a palette that I just adore. And I think I'm going to do another look from her. Maybe more of like a less sultry, more poppy, maroony, shimmery. Now this is always going to be like a neutral or tone so there's only so much like pops and shimmers I can do with just this palette but I just feel like this does not get enough love and I absolutely love it I love all of the things that I used today except for the few that I did mention because of their them being old or me just not liking them or them not working for me again I hope this inspires you guys to go into your makeup drawers pull out that old makeup and either one use it or two dispose of it if it's too old but i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you did make sure you hit the like button for me comment down below and tell me what you think about this look should i do another shop my stash video was this video weird i don't know i don't i don't know how i feel like where am i going where are i where are you go i'm going nowhere i'm going downstairs with my children in like five seconds and look how i look i don't know all right guys i'll see you guys on the next one <laughs> bye